there's beauty in the pain So if love is a struggle I guess there's beauty in everything There's peace in a heartbreak And there's fire in the rain So if everything Hi guys, good morning I hope you guys are all doing well So I have exciting news today I'm sure you guys can tell from the background already But I got a new bookshelf and i just put this together the other day and i feel like it turned out so so cute um i was gonna film the whole process of me putting it together but honestly it didn't go according as planned it took a lot longer than it was supposed to so i decided to just not film it but it turned out great and i decided to add some fairy lights to it already to make it pop more in the background it also gives off a very cozy feel especially during the fall season right now and yeah i already went ahead and started decorating here and there with a few knickknacks and I'm super super excited to show you guys so the reason why I got a bookshelf is because I have been in my book era I've been accumulating a lot of books over the past couple of months and I basically have like a little book nook in the corner of my room where I've been storing all my books and I really wanted a place to reorganize it and have it look more aesthetic in my room so that's why I went with the bookshelf but yeah this is the one I went with I was stumbled across this one on Amazon and I really really liked it and the reviews were good so I decided to buy it and put it together um, but yeah let me give you guys a quick tour so I currently have my little book nook like in this little corner right here where my, my drawers are at um, it's cute in this little corner but I definitely want to move it over to my new bookshelf case but yeah so these are my it's a small collection my little collection right here so yeah and then I have I just bought my new planner at TJ Maxx which looks really cool I'll show you guys that next time so yeah I'm really excited to move these books and start my collection over on the bookshelf so here's how my bookshelf currently looks like um, I already started decorating a little bit I basically hung some fairy lights on it so I really wanted to film myself putting together the bookshelf but honestly it took a lot longer than it should have so I just went ahead and put it together and then started playing around with the items that I wanted to put on the shelves so up here I just have this little it's, a, it's supposed to be a candle holder I just left it as decor and then down here I put my Marshall Bluetooth speakers along with the pumpkin that I found at TJ Maxx right here it's supposed to be like a little jar where you can store stuff which is really cool so yeah. and then over here I have one of my resins that I made it's one of the first ones I ever made and it looked super super pretty in this corner and I loved how I tied in really nicely with the little uh, glass mushroom decor that I have so I just put that on top of my uh, my resin coaster and it turned out so cute in this corner I feel like it really goes with the whole aesthetic right here so yeah and then down here, um, I'm still working on the decorations. I'll definitely get, show you guys more of it once everything's complete. And then down here, I just got this book from Amazon and look at it. Oh my gosh, it's seriously so beautiful. It's called Daughter of the Moon Goddess by uh, Suli Tan. And yeah, I was like browsing through Amazon and Barnes and & Noble and I saw this cover and I totally fell in love with it. It's just so, so gorgeous. So I'm super excited to read this. So yeah, let me go ahead and start adding the book to my new bookshelf. So this is basically how it looks like so far. It definitely doesn't look like much, but I did order a few more books on Amazon, and also Barnes & Noble that will be coming in soon. And in this area, I felt like it would be great to put like my fantasy books or like the books that I love the most. So I have my A Court of Thorn and Roses here and I kind of wanted to stack it up as I buy more of their series. And then I have a couple more books that have really beautiful covers that I want to like kind of like display right here and down here i just have a couple of my colleen hoover books and i added a few books that i had stored in my boxes this one was really pretty so i left it up top it's called a love story this one actually caught my eye at barnes and noble one day and i haven't read it yet but i definitely want to get into it so yeah it looks really aesthetic right here 
I want to kind of like color coordinate it once I get more books. But yeah, that's my little bookshelf tour. I'll definitely show you guys a full one once, you know, I accumulate more books and accumulate more items to decorate it with. So yeah. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm currently in my book era, so I've been doing a lot of reading lately and I've been really enjoying it. I've just been really enjoying like scrolling through book talk and checking out the latest book recommendations. And by the way, if you guys have any great book recommendations, be sure to leave it down in the comments below because I'm always looking out for a good new book to read. And I really want to head to Barnes & Noble and pick up a few more books. But yeah, let's go!
So it's a little later in the day today. As you guys can tell, it got a lot darker. And I decided to turn on my starlight because I just got it in the mail yesterday and I'm absolutely obsessed, guys. It's so, so beautiful. Like, look at that. Wow. So pretty. Like, when I turned it on, I kid you not, I was so mesmerized. I kept staring at, staring at it for the longest time. And I still am. Like, every time I turn it on, I just can't get over it. It looks even better in person, but yeah, I love... I think this one's probably one of my favorite. This color combination of lavender pink and like a little bit of blue. Anyways, I wanted to do a haul of the books that I picked up from Barnes & Noble earlier today. I picked up a few books that I'm super, super excited to read. They were on the top of my TBR list, so I was so happy that I was able to get my hands on them. So yeah, let me show you guys what I got. So the first item I picked up from Barnes & Noble is this really cute tote bag. Wow, look at it. I absolutely love it. I saw this and I couldn't stop thinking about it for days when I first saw it at Barnes & Noble. So I finally went back and bought it. And it's really good material. It's really nice and thick and even has like a little inside pocket. So yeah, I figured I'd bring this along with me every time I grab some books at the bookstore. So yeah, it has like a whole bunch of books printed on here. and. So, so beautiful. I absolutely love it. All right, so inside. So I picked up quite a few books. Let me just set them down and show you guys. Okay, so the first book I got was the sequel to A Court of Thorns and Roses, um, and it's called A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Moss. I absolutely love the first book, so I ran out and had to get the second one right away. And I love the cover, it's, actually, it's so pretty. And it's made out of this really nice matte material, so it's really nice to the touch. So yeah, it's really thick. It's definitely thicker than the first one. Um, let me see how many pages it is. 626 pages, so definitely a lot thicker than the first one. But yeah, I'm super excited to read this. And then the next book I picked up was It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. I've been anticipating this release ever since I finished It Ends With Us, so I'm super excited to read this. And the cool thing was when I picked up this book, the cashier gave me uh, a little bookmark to match with it, which is absolutely adorable. I love it. If you guys don't know, I'm a bookmark girl. I absolutely love bookmarks. I've been collecting them since I was in elementary school, so yeah, I love it. And then um, when I picked up this book, it, they had a buy one get one 50% off. So I also picked up the Shadow and Bone because this was also a buy one get one 50% off book as well. And this is by Leigh Bardugo. And yeah, um, the reason why I picked up this book was because I saw that they had a Netflix series and I really wanted to read it and see what it's about. And the cover was really pretty as well. So yeah, and the inside right here. And yeah, that's all I picked up. I'm super excited for this haul and I can't wait to uh, dive in and read them. So yeah, 